Kenyans lose about 50 million shillings daily to traffic jams according to the Kenya National Highways Authority estimates. To this end, the government entered into a public-private partnership model for funding infrastructure projects that will see Kenyans pay to use major roads. National Treasury CS Yukuriatani has now given an update on efforts to see motorists directly pay for road use. The government has been encouraging investments under the public-private partnership, particularly in the road sector. To further such partnerships, I propose to amend the Public Road Stall Act to enable the persons who enter into an agreement with the government to collect road, road tolls on road constructed and managed under such agreement. Other losers in this year's budget statement include the growing number of internet users. With the call to stay at home due to the coronavirus pandemic, e-commerce has seen a significant rise. To this, the government plans to actualize a digital service tax of 1.5%. With the first advancement in technology, many business transactions are increasingly being carried out through digital platforms. In some cases, due to the nature of the transaction, it is difficult to effectively tax the income derived through such platforms. It is therefore necessary to provide a framework that will facilitate taxation of such income. In this regard, I propose to introduce digital service tax on the value of transactions at the rate of 1.5%. The tax will see users pay more for digital services, including the buying of goods online as the government looks to tap the lucrative sector for vital revenue. Another cadre of losers in this year's budget is property owners, earning more than 15 million shillings in rental income after being added to the tax bracket and given a 10% tax on their rental income. The government introduced a simplified monthly rental income tax in 2016 to enhance tax compliance. Under this regime, the rental income is taxed at the rate of 10% for individuals earning annual rent income of Kenya shilling 10 million and below. Mr. Speaker, the Kenya shilling 10 million per annum threshold has brought positive impact on tax compliance. I therefore propose to raise this threshold to Kenya shilling 15 million per annum in order to bring more landlords to the simplified regime. This might see property owners pass the tax burden to consumers renting their properties in order to cushion themselves from the new tax. Alanaoko, Channel 1 News.